Emergencies can happen anywhere, so it is important to know how to provide basic life support care. As you approach the scene of an emergency event, check your surroundings to ensure that they are safe and only kneel beside the victim after that. Tap the victim's shoulder and shout, Are you okay? If the victim is unresponsive and you are alone, call for help and check for breathing. Open the victim's airway. Use the head tilt and chin lift technique. Press down on the forehead with one hand while pulling up on the chin with the other hand. Gently tilt the head back. When checking for breathing, listen for sounds of breathing, feel for exhalation on your cheek, and look to see if the victim's chest is rising and falling. This is the look, listen, and feel approach. Checking for breathing should take no more than 10 seconds. Breathing is considered normal if the victim takes at least two normal breaths within 10 seconds. If the victim is not breathing and there is another rescuer, ask him or her to call an ambulance. If you're alone, call one yourself. The emergency medical dispatcher will give you instructions on how to provide cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Place the victim in a supine or face-up position on a firm, flat surface. Kneel at the victim's side. Place one hand on top of the other and interlace your fingers. Place the heel of your hand in the center of the victim's chest on the lower half of the breastbone. Position your shoulders directly over your hands. Keep your arms straight and lock your elbows. Compress the chest 30 times to a depth of 5 to 6 centimeters. Then, allow for full chest recoil. Chest compressions should be steady and fast, performed at a rate of twice a second. You can even count if it helps. Thirty chest compressions are followed by two ventilations. To deliver ventilations, tilt the victim's head back and pinch the nose shut. Take a normal breath and blow into the victim's mouth. Watch for the chest to return to its normal position while taking another breath. Repeat this sequence. Minimize interruptions in chest compressions to last no more than five seconds. Alternate the 30 chest compressions and the two ventilations until help arrives. If you have another rescuer with you, switch positions every two to three minutes because providing CPR is tiring and you can become less effective. When you see signs of the victim regaining consciousness, such as breathing, coughing, or moving purposefully, stop CPR and put the victim in a recovery position.